Hello everyone, Kayla here and this is What The Kink, a natural hair channel where I share my personal hair journey and tips, tricks, and product reviews to help you with your own. I may be sucking the fun out of Black Friday with this one, but you know that I use Black Friday to restock my hair collection, like all the products that I have, because unlike your fave YouTubers, one, I'm not on anyone's PR list, and two, I just don't buy a lot of excess products. I buy what I need for the year. So I use Black Friday to restock, okay? So I wanted to do this kind of prep video, getting ready for Black Friday to show you guys like the behind the scenes of me choosing what I need to have or how many things to get for Black Friday. I want to be a little bit more deliberate this year. So the first part of that is going to be looking into how much stuff that I used last year. So to do that, what I did was I watched my last um, like four empties videos because that would be roughly a year. I do them seasonally if you're new. And then for every eight ounces of the particular products that I used, I did a little tally mark. Uh, so I could so I counted as one product the reason I chose eight even though some of the stuff comes in 12 ounces is because it's easier to do math with eight ounces um, eight ounces is technically when a product is considered full size so I, I but I, you know what the number of 12 ounces yeah I definitely noticed how many 12 ounces there were so I got my handy dandy sticky note for this uh, for 2022 um, and a little bit of 2021 because of the seasons I use a total of 10 8 ounce conditioners. So remember, if it was a 16 ounce, I counted it as two conditioners. So I used 10. Uh, that lets me know I probably should not buy that many conditioners. <laughs> uh, as far as primer products, so I had some leave in that I finished up at the beginning of the year and then I started using products that I consider to be a primer. So all of those go under the same category. And so in the primer area of things, I used six. Six. Uh, as far as light hold, so these are gels that they are like a medium hold gel, but they have the ability to define my hair. And so I'll define my hair with that first and then like put a hard hold gel over it. So I used five of those last year. Hard hold gel. Okay, yeah, y'all know I used a lot because whether I'm doing one, the, uh, one version of my wash and go or the other version of it, I always use hard hold gel. And one of the versions of my wash and go uses a lot of the hard hold gel. So I used... 27 27 8 ounce portions of gel um and just to translate that if it was just in pouches of jello shot that would be 13 pouches of jello shot that would be if it was the salon size of the frozen drip and grip that would be seven of those and then if it was like um the uh obia custard or the uh wonder curl get set hair jelly those, um, they, they, they have like 12 ounce or 13 ounce, but like, if you look at two of them together, that's like three, eight ounce portions. You know what I mean? So that's the equivalent of using nine of them a year if I was only using that one. So <clears throat> very interesting. I, I definitely used a lot. I knew I used a lot of gel, but this is definitely like proof that I'm definitely using a lot of hard hold gel. Okay. Shampoo. I used three shampoos this year. That was it. Three shampoos. Um, and then as far as foams and custards, I used three of those. I lumped them together because I tend to use them for the same hairstyles. Like I used the foam for this hairstyle because I'm just trying to see what different products do with the um, wave formers. Uh, I'm calling them wave curlers now because you know how um, the, if you look up wave formers, it brings up a product that will not give you this, this hair. But um I'm noticing the best product is that pattern custard with this style because it gives a less soft look uh, in the beginning. More of a press and curl. Anyway, we're not talking about my hair. So, as you can see, I did not use a lot of most of the things that I use. It's just that when the hard hold gel came into play, that's where I used the most product. And I do like to use higher end gels. So Black Friday gives me the opportunity to get these, these higher end gels for like 40 and 50% off. Please believe that most of what you see on my channel, I didn't pay full price for. And not because I'm a special YouTuber, but because I bought it on sale and I buy um, in advance before I need it. So here, we're going to take this over to my closet so that we can look into the collection to see what we are still needing to stock or what we don't need to stock because we already have. All right, so we are in the closet 
welcome to my husband's clothes and then this is the bin that I keep everything the bottom um, bin is where I keep like hair rollers and tools and stuff so that doesn't get replaced because if I started replacing tools oh y'all that's a weak spot of mine I wouldn't have anywhere to put them oh my god I know my triggers <laughs> so anyway um, so this is the drawer where I put things that are not opened, basically. It's like fresh into the collection. So typically everything I get for Black Friday goes into this drawer right here. And in the drawer we have two products. <laughs> two! <laughs> um, we have the, the uh, Creole Essence OMG Curl Cream. I bought this last year. It was like one of the first things I bought for Black Friday. We see that I have not used it. Um, I just don't do the styles that would use this as much like I would maybe put this on like jumbo twist or something so uh yeah we ain't gonna talk about that <laughs> and then we have the kinky curly come clean I almost never have clarifying shampoo on stock just because I tend to just buy it when I need it but last year I bought this and then Audra Beauty came out with blue tansy like and I was like oh I'm gonna buy blue tansy so I'm still using the blue tansy shampoo so that's why this is sitting there so I bet not bet not buy no clarifying shampoo for black friday I will not because this is sitting here unused and it takes me about a year to go through clarifying shampoo so that's it <laughs> I told you I'm restocking a collection I'm not playing with you I'm so serious okay so oh look some of my cute shoes are on display in the back yeah your girl your girl sometimes wears shoes but never socks. I hate socks. Um, and then this is my drawer where I keep things that are opened, but I may not currently be using them because maybe I'm doing another hairstyle or something like that. So in here we have the melanin hair care conditioner. You can see that it is it has gone down since the video because I do use my products a little couple times after the video so I can, you know, interact with people in the comments and stuff like that. So I'll be coming back to this real soon. Um, then I have what's on my hair, which is the Nairobi Rapid Foaming Shine Lotion. This, the amount that's left is ridiculous, but I'm going to use it. Then we have the, uh, Seamoss Collection Curls Foam here. The amount left in here is ridiculous as well, but again, I'm going to use it somehow, some way. I'm going to use it. Ahem. <clears throat> Then we have the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Sculpting Gel. I did not want the big one, but the little one, the little squeeze tube was out at the store, so I had to buy this one. So it's here. I don't uh, do things that require a topper or like a final layer very often, so this is probably going to sit here for a while. Um, I have a um, Giovanni shampoo, and I believe it's pretty close to the top. What? How much is in here? I don't know. I can't really see in this opaque bottle. Oh, it's really hard for me to see. I want to say, you know what, I think it's about halfway. So, um, and I've got a shampoo. I've got the Seamoss Collection shampoo in the shower. Um, I don't take that out because my husband uses it. And that's about halfway down. So, we might be able to buy some shampoos for Black Friday, like regular shampoo. Once everything uh, goes down. But not, not, not a lot because I didn't use that many. And then we have open, it's in the refrigerator, but we have some Jello shot. Okay, so these are all open, but I'm just not like using it right now. And then the final destination is I have products that I carry to and from the, the shower in a little tote. So here's what we have in here. We have some Kiki Curly Not Today because it was left over. I was like, I'm going to use this somehow. Um, then we have the Audra Beauty Blue Tansy Clarifying Shampoo that I was talking about. And it is about halfway. Let me see. Yeah, it's here, actually. So it's got a third left. That's a, that's a lot as far as clarifying shampoo is concerned. Then we have this uh, copy of the Matrix Biolog, just their Matrix Biolog Hydrosource Shampoo. I bought this last year around Black Friday time in order to secure a deal at Sally Beauty. I had to buy an extra thing, and I'm like, eh, I've used this shampoo. It's cool with me. I'll use it. So this is, where is it? Holding up to the light. This is a clear shampoo, so it's hard for me to tell where it is. But I think it's somewhere around here. So I've got a decent amount of shampoos. So I don't even know if I'm going to buy shampoo at all now that I'm thinking about it. Um, and then I have these As I Am uh, Hydration Elation. It was in a video recently. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all I have had to use this, like, scooping it to get my typical results that I get. That's 
that's what I'm having to do. And I don't like that because I got too much hair um, to have to use a lot of product. Like it's, it's already, it's already expensive as it is to have long hair. Like, let's be real. I know some of my people in my, in my regular, who regularly comment and stuff like that, y'all have tailbone length or whatever. So you know that it's expensive. I, I cannot be using a product that I'm using so much of. So this is here. Y'all see that? There's only like one use left in there. And I have not even used this, but like maybe two times. I don't like that. So I am going to finish this probably very soon. If not the next wash day, it'll probably be like a drop and I'll have to mix it with the melanin hair care deep conditioner. So that is all the products that I own. I do not own any other products. Let me know in the comments if you're shocked. <laughs> it, the, the new people are shocked. Okay. But anyhow, these are things that I'm going to take into consideration when I am plotting and planning and scheming on my Black Friday shopping. The videos don't exist yet, but I'm going to put my Black Friday wish list video and then I'm also going to put my Black Friday haul video here. In the meantime, YouTube is going to put other stuff there, but you know, when it gets there, it gets there. Subscribe. I post videos every week and I'll talk to you in the next one.